five american things british people secretly envy excited to see what kind of things we got in this before we do appreciate if you guys can add subscribe button let's get straight into this what is up guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing five with a little bonus one yeah. at the end which you could probably guess what it's going to okay. be let actually that's a good point let us know what you think mm. the, the last one is which is a bonus one is in the comments it's an obvious one we bang it on about it all the time right it just can't be left out mm. of this video can no. it so this is going to be what is it ac secretly envy so they might not want to admit it some people might pretend they don't like it and some people might not like it okay this is our opinions yeah this is just our opinions but i feel like this is like this is a good list i think it's a good list oh uh, i'm excited it. even if they say they don't want this do. or like it i think a lot of them yeah i think but again let us know if you're right and you disagree this so you know what below. i can't wait to see what these things are and i can tell you if i envy them or not everyone is different and this is just our opinions uh now we've been to america so we're kind of giving a little bit of that view as well aren't we yeah and um okay, yeah, cool. are you ready yeah i am so the first one is I've literally, it's free refills. Yeah. Oh, but I'm, gotta be on the list. I'm also yeah. gonna add with that, I think that links in with ice. With ice as well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I just feel like. Yeah, you know what? In the UK, you ain't getting no free refills. Like, you just in. I am. It's not a secret. I am envious of the fact that you get free refills and yeah, that that is you get good. cupfuls of ice with your drinks. Oh, it's so like, good. Don't get me wrong, we do get it in like certain restaurants, like ice. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yo, 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 yo. You do get ice everywhere in the UK. But I think they're on about to like the scale that you guys get ice. Because I've seen some of your drinks with ice, right? I, bro, <laughs> the whole cup is full of ice, bro. That's crazy. In the UK, you're just going to get a couple ice cubes. That's about it. Um, but unfortunately, that our one restaurant that did give us free refills actually just closed down today. TGI yeah, Fridays. So in Jersey, we don't get any, do we? So it? now we don't get any. Wait, <laughs> TGI Fridays did free refills? But um, I kind of think from, from a flip view of a secretly handy, I guess some... Wait, I think TGI Fridays is you have to pay for a free refill cup, I think. Because I used to go to TGI Fridays a lot and I never really got free refills. People with the argument of, yes, it's not good for you. And a lot of people will be genuine like, yeah, I don't want free refills because it's not I great do. for you. But I think a lot of people who say that if they had the option of free refills, no, I would snap it. your hand off. <laughs> and and also, I would. I would snap your hand off. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all well and good saying not good for you. But if you're going out for a meal once a month, like, true. You, and you get a free refill, like, that's... Yeah. Yeah, whenever you go to a restaurant, bro, I'm always having a drink and stuff. I always, like get more drinks i need to drink at the start i need to drink throughout the meal i need to drink if i'm having dessert you know what i mean so like yo yeah and free refills is just good bro because uh, prices of drinks is like three pound a drink it adds up bro like by the time the meal was done you paid the same amount of drinks as your meal for me you're gonna buy two drinks anyway if you weren't getting a free refill very true so why not have the second one free, mm. free yeah. refills is is awesome. good. and you can stop yourself with free refills yeah so you like i feel yourself. like the <laughs> vibe we had before we went was we're going to get so many free refills. going to be like on six <laughs> cups. We barely managed two. I feel like we, though, were typical Brits and we would only get free refills if they offered, kind of. Or we'd be like, right. Can we yeah, have a free refill? We we even, like, Wait, you know your free refills? Is it a free refill for that drink or is it a free refill for all drinks? So, like, could you switch up your drinks and stuff? Like, maybe have a Coke and then maybe have, I don't know, like a Dr. Pepper or... You know, just some a different kind of soda. Um, Cracker Barrel. Like, oh, I didn't, they just I didn't even get a chance to ask for anyone. Yeah. Like, my cup had like this much left, and they just gave me anyone. Oh, oh, that's so like, good. It, it took away our awkwardness as Brits. And also, it? I feel like maybe you don't care as much about. They just come right to um, top you up. Like, oh, I don't want that because of health. Blah blah blah. Is because you don't. If they give it, you'd have to pay anyway. So whether you drink or not, it doesn't make a difference. True. Yeah, we don't true. Like waste, like say. But it, technically, it doesn't make a difference. Very true. true. And like you say, you can say, I don't want any more. So it's yeah. an option. And I like the option. But I like I like it. And I like icy drinks. And I just wish that that was more a thing over here yeah. in general. Definitely, right. Definitely. Moving on. Well, I suppose you could always carry around a, like, a little ice cool box and uh, top up your own ice. <laughs> so the next one opportunities so now we've got this down more there i think when we were talking about okay. it we put this more down more as like a travel. travel yeah i think so i feel like um opportunities obviously in the uk don't go wrong there's some great places to visit and we can go to europe it's not too far away it's right not, well i feel like it's a bit more of a ache from jersey because we have to go to the uk first if we're going by plane okay so even, I think even in the uk you've got to go to europe you've got to get on a yeah, plane or I you've just, got to pack yeah. like and 
abide by limits and stuff I'm like that. Sure, right. But I'm sure, like, that is that is cool to Americans. Like, they think, oh, wish I could go to Europe. But yeah. we're like, oh, my God, imagine living in America and just getting to road trip down exactly. to, like... Four. Yo, I suppose it's, like, like different... It's different from what you know, you know what I mean? So, like, people in Europe, they're going to look at America and be like, oh, my God, I'd really like to be in America. I'd really like to do a road trip in America. That's all good. But because you guys are used to that and you do that, you guys will be like, yo, but it will be really cool to get on a plane and go to, like, places in Europe. Unless you're not. Unless you're thinking, you know what, I'm just happy in America, which wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> I would rather, but I don't know if I'm saying this because I live in the UK, but I'd rather just be in America and, you know, not have the limitations of, like, passports and do this and do that. I feel like it's cheaper to go from one state to another state than a holiday, for, like, within Europe. So I would prefer to, yeah, be originally in America. Or say you're going to Florida for the weekend. Then the or... UK. You've got an option of going it's... off, even in your own state. There's yeah. so many options in each state. You could go for right. a five-hour road trip, like, a five-hour drive, and be somewhere which is so different to where you started. It yeah, that was like, crazy. Mm -hmm. So awesome. And then you could do another five hours, and I kind of think that... that, that five hours travel time the time you spend waiting in an airport for example yeah. in the uk and then on the way back you lose five hours on your trip yeah. overall just sitting in an airport don't you oh um, so yeah so many more options. yo don't even get me started about airports bro like going on holiday in europe man is all good but the worst part is traveling you're in the airport for five hours man like why do i need to be in the airport for five hours like, oh, oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. And I don't really like flying as it is anyway. So, like, it's, it's horrible, bro. Yeah. If you head out one one way, head out the other, road tripping, and it, it seems awesome. And road tripping is popular in the US, isn't it? Yeah, I hope we get to experience that one. Yeah, yeah. no, I've seen so many movies where, like, people go on, uh, like, families go on a road trip in RVs. I don't know how common and popular it actually is in America. How many of you guys actually done that? But they look so fun. Like, they just look like a good, like, get the whole family, get a couple of RVs and go to, like, a cabin. Bro, they look so fun, man. That seems like, oh, uh, that just seems like a dream. Yeah, mm. no skin of a moment, so that is not going to happen. Yeah. But you never know, in the future, um, yeah, in the future, we'll hopefully be able to get some savings and come over again because it was a trip of a lifetime and hopefully we can do something similar. Oh, I and can't wait to do something YouTube like that. In two to three years when we hopefully can have some money to come over, we will vlog it. That, that is a plan, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So, moving on to number three. So, we've put this down as a mm. category of bluntness, but we want... Bluntness? Blunt huh? Bluntness. Bluntness. <laughs> but we want to explain what we mean by that. That's not negative. Bluntness. Yeah. Um, like, so in the UK, if we say something... We want to make a point. We tend to cover up with a joke or a bit of banter. Right. Like, make a joke out of it because we don't want to directly say... This is very okay. very tidy, by the way. Like, we say... Okay. I feel like a lot of the time we say, no offence, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're about to say something not offensive, but something that you direct. Perfect, exactly. Yo, listen, when someone in the UK say to you, no offence, it's offensive, bro. <laughs> I don't know why we do it. We just add the words, no offence, but it's offensive, bro. I'm trying to hang up a phone call. Everyone, like, bye, bye, bye. I'm an adventure... You know, oh, I'm just doing it, but it's like an extra three minutes on TV. Yeah, call. which is. is funny because then when we call, like, we speak to people on Discord, like some of you, like Kenny, John, all that, they just end, end the call and we're like, are we not going to say bye ten times first? Yeah, I was going to say, oh, okay. <laughs> Where are you? Yeah. But, um, but yeah, and I just feel like you guys just, just straight to the point, which is, I think, is a good thing. Yeah, uh, I think, yeah. yeah. go for the argument of what I think maybe, not a lot of Brits, because we don't say this, but I mean, what some Brits will say is, oh, it could be perceived, it could be rude and stuff like that. But I kind of think a lot of them, if they were in the situation and it was everyone knew you being blunt like that was normal, right? And you got on with life, and it's like perfect. I yeah. love that. I see what they're saying. I see what they're saying. It just depends on the person, though. You know what I mean? Like, it, being blunt could be bad or good. Like, I don't know. For me, really, being blunt's good because I, I don't really like wasting time. You know what I mean? Just like, let's just get straight to the point. Blah blah blah. In America, Boom. I'm sure between Americans. They don't think it's rude. They just think oh, it's just yeah, like, that's just life. We have a conversation mm. with you guys on Discord, and it will be like a, a, a blunt reply. But that's just normal. You know what, and like, do you know what I have are noticed? Upset? Are they, are they not? <laughs> do you know what I have noticed about Americans? Is they don't put kisses at the end of their texts. But well, it depends who it's going no, to, I guess. You no. mean like yeah, no. to no. partners and stuff? No, no, no. Like, so obviously we put kisses probably to like, we put one kiss or like a few kisses to everyone. But Ooh, they're exes. I, I don't. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, his face. <laughs> Yo, he's looking at like, hey, who you boy kisses to, bro? <laughs> no, that's what, yo, James's face right now. No, I would have the same reaction though. Because like, you put kisses to family, um, family, your partner, and like, maybe close, close, uh, yeah, maybe close friends in some circumstances. You don't pull it to everyone. That could be dangerous. Like, yo, let's just say, like, let's just say, I don't know, like, your partner, you're talking to your partner's friend, yeah? If you point kisses to them, are you in trouble? <laughs> you in trouble. I, I don't know. It does, it does depend on the context of whatever, right? It does. But uh, not everyone, bro. It's probably to, like, we put one kiss or, like, a few kisses to everyone. What if, what if, you're, what if your ex, like, pops up and messages you? That will be bad. <laughs> but they're oh, I, I don't. You put a kiss to people. <laughs> I will put a kiss to family members. Yep. And kisses to you. Yep. And then yeah, but every like... so often I'll take the mic from my mate and put a kiss. But that's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I'll give you like... James. Hey, it's anyone else. I oh. think that's more of a girl thing. Well, I just put a kiss to everyone. Well, one. Like one kiss. I don't put like family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's more of a girl um, thing. But like... Yeah, that was funny. Anyway, um, <laughs> you've got up my track. Sorry. Yo, I know for a fact. Yo, James is thinking, who have you put a kiss to, right? Like, I just noticed that they don't. They just they must just think I'm just putting an X uh, at the end of all my messages. Yeah, let's know. I think it might be a girl thing, but I may be wrong. Uh, yeah, like I put a kiss to Gina and. I just got a full stop. Gina, I was like, send some kisses to Millie. Oh, but I don't Wait, think that was funny, bro. Yo, yo, no, I'm actually interested though. Like, who would you put kisses to as an American? Would you do it the same, like as what James said, like friends, partners, or do you just not, just like do you just not do it to anyone? Because by means, because no, way. They know no what kisses because are. you're because you're you know your cousin in America. Yeah. She never puts them to me neither, and I always but, put them back. Just because. You don't put them. <laughs> I think they know what they're I don't know. I've not met an American yet that's put a kiss back to me. Gina, this will be the test. Next time you message me, don't say anything. Just hey, listen. Yeah, but listen. Listen, listen. If you made it to this point in the video without coming off, because some people leave the video early on, you know what I'm saying? Hey, put a comment down below and put a kiss at the end. And let's just confuse people in the comment section. It don't matter what comment you put. Just put kisses in the comments, bro. It's <laughs> just confuse it. Stuff, but they don't put kisses in. <laughs> I don't know. I just noticed that. That was, yeah. Let us know. This has been my favourite point. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, that, the next one is fast food slash local food. Uh, the reason we're starting off with fast food is because I kind of think a lot of people in the UK don't realise how good American local food oh, is. don't tease me. So don't they tease really me. hear all these fast food chains, which we don't have. We want to try them. And don't I think tease the, me initial like oh american fast foods there but yep. if you know how good american local oh. you want that yeah like terry terry blacks yeah yo if you guys ever come to my streams or even this videos you will know i will show you my uber order yeah come to my streams twitch.tv for slash l3g we we go we're live every day chat it's a good vibe good family vibe going off there it's really cool and yeah i probably order takeaway like nearly every day it's bad it's bad. It's bad. But I'm enjoying life. You know what I mean? So it, it is what it is. Barbecue. Terry Black. Did I say that right? Yeah. Southern fried chicken. Um, Tex-Mex. Or... All of that. Absolutely incredible. And I feel like people don't think Soul of America food. like that. When mm. you think, if you don't know, you think of American food as fast food. Yeah. And I'm sorry to you guys because we are very blinded in the fact that, that we, we know We do. know that's not the case. We do. Obviously, there's some people in the oh, right. that obviously don't, do, don't know that either. But, but you know what I mean? But as a general, I feel like everyone thinks of America that's fast food yeah. yeah that is true but that's because you got a lot of fast food options like yeah you do have good local food like what they're saying but like you do have like i, I watch content creators in america and man they, they will order food fast food and there's like 20 different options bro like what that's heaven that being said I don't think you guys know how good your fast food is compared to ours. Yeah, is it really that much better? I say, I can't believe you gone to, can't believe you came all the way to America and you've sat there, you tried Wendy's and you've tried Chick Fil A and all that. I don't think you guys realise yeah, how good it is. Oh wow, it's that good. Like we get it, your local food is out of, out of this world, insane, better than our fish and chips any day of the week. But I would take your Chick Fil A over my. 
I can't believe she just said that. That's a crime. That's a crime. That's probably one of our best foods that we have on offer. Is our chip shop fish and chips. And she just, without batting an eyelid, just stomped on it into its grave. Oh, come on, put some respect on the fish and chips. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, it's really good. Like, we get it. Your local food is out of, out of this world and saying better than our fish and chips any day of the Damn. week. Damn. I would take your Chick fil A over my McDonald's. Oh, 100%. Any day. So, yeah. what? McDonald's as well? Yeah, you guys. Food overall, you guys win. And again, Brits will be proud of their food and stuff like that. Yeah, I want to cry, bro. Fish, fish and chips from the chippy, I love with some curry sauce. Mmm. And McDonald's, well, I eat McDonald's pretty much every day. Yo, I just, listen, I feel like when I go to America, bro, I just won't leave. I won't leave. Because my three favorite things in life is obviously family. But shortly after family is McDonald's. And then shortly after McDonald's is Coca-Cola. <laughs> yeah, I live a great lifestyle, man. But I think oh, I love a fish and it. chips. But bro, I'd eat Terry Black's more. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Not Damn. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> the, the barbecue. barbecue. <laughs> oh. um, so this one is like my speciality one, I feel like. I've, this is my contribution. Yeah, you like. Got to get in some of this. I feel like this deserves its own segment in this. Okay. Um, and it is Target slash Walmart. Okay. Um, I am very envious of this. I just feel that good. Like, I know I'm not as bothered, I know, but it's cool. I know Walmart <laughs> owns Asda in the UK, but one, I don't have Asda. Two, I just feel like I've been to Asda. Yeah, it's not I, the same. It's not the same. Asda's I one just, of our biggest supermarkets. I don't know if it's in Target, the red shopping carts, and the fact that they have a cup for my Starbucks. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Wait, I'm pretty sure Walmart actually owns Asda. I'm pretty sure that is. Like, like your, your Walmart. The owners made as the for the UK. I'm, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is the case. All experience just seems. I don't know. I can't even. I can't even tell you. Like I smile when I think about when I was in Target. The thing is, I had a that good. And I, I know I just say it's not the same for me, but it kind of is because when I was in Walmart and Target, I absolutely loved it. But I guess I don't do as much shopping, so that's kind of my like. Right. It's my dream Target. place to like. I can't even tell you how good it was, but also like the variety, <laughs> the differences, like. Top to bottom, there's just different stuff everywhere. I feel like the UK, it's much to much same. Right. Thing. Yeah. No, definitely. Fair point. Definitely. Now going into the last one, which I don't know if you guys guessed it or not, but it's got a special mention. We won't be talking about it for long. Mm -hmm. It's patriotism. It just oh, we love okay. it so much. I I said to you, I was like, there's no. I know we've mentioned it. Okay. On the video, pretty much. But yep. I just can't not mention it. No. Like that is something which. Some people say it's over. Yeah, you guys are very, very patriarchal. Like, you guys will send me on Instagram pictures, videos of, like, your house, your streets, and there's always flags everywhere. You just won't see that in the UK. Top. I don't think it is. I think a lot of people, if we were the same in the UK, would love it. Yeah. So right. I, I think that's something that a lot of Brits secretly end it. Definitely. The amount of American flags. Okay, fair were, play. Like, you, we hear about it. We've heard about it on videos. You see it in the movies. Until you're actually there. You know what? I don't think it's the fact that, like, I don't think I would like to see more flags in the UK. I think what it is, what we would envy, is, like, the feeling of loving our country like you guys do. Does that make sense? Like, I, I wouldn't sit here and be like, oh, I really wish I'd see more, like, I was going to say American. I really wish I'd see, like, more, like, UK British flags because I wouldn't be that bothered. But that's because I don't really love the country how you guys love America. Do you, does that make sense? So, like, I, I do envy the fact of how much you guys, your connection to your country is. Because I feel like my connection to the UK is, I don't really care about it. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? And you're going through a neighbourhood. Like, when we were in LA, do you remember we drove through that neighbourhood? Yeah. There's just American flags at every door. Yeah, absolutely awesome. And there was yeah. even American flags hanging in Walmart. Yeah. Yeah, Walmart. that was mad. So it was absolutely awesome, um, and we really enjoyed it. Yeah, was it mad. was great. Oh, they had a great time. time. That's cool to see. Oh, I know, it? We, we need to... Really, really good video from them again. Make sure you do go check them out. Their link is in the description. Let me know what you guys think tonight in the comment section. Don't forget the kisses. <laughs> Yo, really good video. I enjoyed that. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. Live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.